Hi, welcome. Now you're looking at a map created with open land grass. Basically, we got a bunch of grass types and I can change the sound here and there. And yeah, it works nice. So basically, this is not just a set of grass, but they are highly optimized for games. And also it has some interesting blending options. So let's explore all those things. All right, first you can customize uh, all these colors and variation quite easily. You can uh, open all these material instances and uh, change the color you want. I don't know. It's up to you. You can change the color as you like according to your needs. And uh, we can have variations. You can provide a variation map. It could be a noise or it could be some, some sort of pattern based texture you're looking for. That's something standard. And then we have very interesting virtual texture based, RVT based blending options. So let me show you a couple of them. So now we're looking at the the map from the above and you can see the grass is nicely blended with the rest of the ground that's because of the front time virtual textures so i can disable that feature and you can see there's a sharp edge uh, here so that's where we stop rendering grass for the performance reasons and then we can uh, fix that sharp edge by enabling rvt based uh, grass blending so you can control the how much of distance bend you're looking for and there are very interesting way you can do it and the other one is the rvt based grass bottom blending so basically you're looking at here in the grass so we actually blend the the color of the ground to the bottom of the grass i can turn up this feature and now you can see a sh sharp edge between the grass and the ground but then we can easily fix that by enabling the blend and it looks really nice you can control how much of intensity you want, how much of strength you want. It's really easy to change those things. And the other one is RVT Brace Grass Hiding System. So basically now you're looking at a static mesh. This is a simple material ball. So it could be anything. So you can easily move this here and there. And you can see, you won't see any grass appeared on this static mesh. So I basically I can put it up. You can see there's a empty space here. So there's no grass over here. This is possible due to the RVT based integration into the grass system. And the interesting thing is this is very easy to add to your project, to your static mesh. And also this works with uh, any kind of foliage or rocks you put using the, the foliage tool or procedurals foliage tool. And also open land grass comes with a very interesting uh, way to blend grass based on the distance and the height. So for example, right now you can see even though we use RVT based blending, so we can clearly see a difference between the, the ground and the grass. Sometimes this happens and it's really hard to avoid. But then there's a way to fix that by, by doing this. So basically we hide some of the grass, a portion of the grass based on the distance. So we can control these parameters, how, 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 sort of, how we are blending uh, the grass over there. So by doing that, we can easily uh, fix that issue because we are blending uh, the height of the grass based on the distance and it's really working in situations like this All right, now we have seen how to do some of the blends with open land grass But then the problem is let's say when you're using multiple type of grass Then you have to change a few set of Material instances and it's quite hard to keep up with the values because you need to change for example if you are changing the RVT based distance uh, blending intensity or something then you have to change that in each and every material instance in order to fix that we have something called open land grass manager so you can change all these things in a single place let me show you how to do that basically here we have a blueprint so we can drag that into our scene and then we have this instance so in the details panel, so we have a couple of options. Basically, we can uh, change the RVT distance blending, um, the C offset blending that I mentioned earlier. And you can easily control most of the common parameters using this manager. Based on that, we can control the wind parameters quite easily. So, so it, it, it has the common wind parameters that you expect from any kind of grass systems. And also we have directional wind support. It's quite easy to control. For example, I can set the directional wind amount. Okay, like this. And then I can use a simple slider to rotate the, the grass. And yeah, that's quite easy to do. And finally, you can change any of these parameters at runtime. So basically you can open the this blueprint and see how we are doing all these things. It's quite easy to do. 
all right this is open and grass and check the description below to see how we can get open and grass to your project and we have very interesting features to be shipped in coming uh, versions all right see you soon with something interesting bye